Feisty turtle over. <laughs> I was just like, he bites. All right, each month we are bringing you some of the wildlife of the Oakland Zoo to you at home. And we are. And joining us this morning is Katie uh, Garchar from the Oakland Zoo. She brought in with the, uh, her a western pond turtle. And what, what is his or her name? Uh, we... This is Dilbert. So he's Dilbert. a western pond turtle. He's yeah. got a long neck. He's got a very long neck. Um, he's trying to bite your fingers off. <laughs> Don't put your fingers Don't. anywhere near his I know, the first thing he said. <laughs> Remember this snake last month, Frank? Yes. This one is very feisty. This one is Where do we find these? Are they local? or are These they... are freshwater species. So what makes them really cool is that they're California's only native freshwater turtle species. Um, oh. Yeah, so they're super awesome, but unfortunately they're not doing so, uh, so hot because of human impacts. Uh, for example, habitat destruction and the release of invasive species. Do you guys know about invasive species? Mm -hmm. Stuff that shouldn't be here that we introduced, right? Exactly. <laughs> and are we so, talking about critters or plants or what? A mostly, little bit of both? Mostly critters for these guys. A, a good example would be uh, red-eared sliders. Are you guys familiar with those turtles? Oh, no. Yes, yeah, so they're, they're super not nice common <laughs> pets. They're very common okay. as pets, but um, for whatever reason, People sometimes will release them back into the wild. They think they're can doing them a him? favor. If I'm I can't careful. let you hold oh, you him. Let me hold him? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Delbert, you can totally we could have been buddies. Back. You can totally him. touch still him. Trying to what does he eat? Trying to get you. What's, what's his uh, food He's source? He's an omnivore. So he eats plants, he eats meat, he eats everything. Frank's fingers. Um, <laughs> but these red eared sliders are actually out competing them for resources, which means they're. They're taking all their food and their, their habitat away from them, which is really sad. So the zoo is all about education and, yes. and, and trying to preserve. How do, pe how do you combat that? Because they're already, sometimes when those invasive species are already out there, there's just not much you can, you can do to exactly. can keep them from <clears throat> growing in population on, on some level. Yes, and red-eared sliders are already out there. They're going to continue to be pets. Um, but what's really cool about the Oakland Zoo is that they're in partnership with um, San Francisco Zoo and Sonoma State, and they've started a Head Start program. So they go out and they will find the turtle eggs. They'll protect them maybe with a fence, or they'll bring them back to, um, they'll bring them back in and we'll let them hatch. They'll wait till they're a little bit bigger and they can take care of themselves, and then they'll release them in the wild so they have a better chance of survival. And they live a long time. This this turtle oh, is what yeah. eight years old, and how, what's the eight, lifespan? They for, can live over eighty years. Really? Yeah. And will this get? Enormous, or does it stay within whatever its water source is? Uh, they can get to be about 11 inches, okay. which is pretty big. But believe it or not, when they are born, they're about the size of a quarter. Mm. So you can imagine these delicious little tasty bite-sized treats swimming around, and they already have natural predators. And their biggest, one of their biggest predators is an invasive species, which is a bullfrog. So I think when you talk about people at home, I guess it's part of that education campaign is, as well is I think at turtles, and, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think people get them, they like the idea, but because they live a long time, it is one of those pets that they, it kind of becomes more than they can handle, and then that's... Th then they set them free. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah, so a learn lot of before times. you yeah. Definitely do your research if you want to be a responsible pet owner before you get your pet. Yeah, turtles right. hang around a long, long time. We also talk about events. You have yes. Zuby Night. Zuby Night. We have two <laughs> great events coming up, actually. So Zuby Nights and Zoo Kids. Zuby Nights are basically movies at the zoo. Don't do that. <laughs> he makes me nervous. Um, <laughs> Uh, they're select Fridays and Saturdays throughout the whole entire year. This uh, month, January 20th, we are showing Finding Dory. That seems and which doors is open. excellent, by it's the way. Great movie. Uh -huh. uh, doors open at 6:30. Come for the whole family. Wear your pajamas. Bring blankets. Uh, you can grab some pillows. We have free hot chocolate, free popcorn all night long. Uh, you're going to get an animal close-up before the movie, and you're actually going to meet yours truly right here. I don't. Because Delbert, it's Finding Dory, the rock star. So I'll let you guys make the connection on that yeah. one. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's right. $7, um, and it's cheaper if you bring four people. Oh. oh, very good. There you go. Bring a friend and a friend and, and one more friend. All right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Oakland Zoo is open uh, from 10 in the morning until 4 p.m. There it is on your screen. Admission, 1875 for adults. 1475 you bring the kids between the ages of 2 and 14 along with adults 65 through 75 and a bonus children under 2 and adults older than 76 you got to be 76 but you get in free so check it out it's a great family fun day and you can meet Dilbert, hey, Dilbert. the feisty little turtle I'm just going to touch his back. And any back, of this info safe. as well we'll on Zoo Kids Zoo Zoo Night, visit OaklandZoo.org. All right, okay. perfect. Hey, thanks again for coming in. We'll see you Thank next you month. Thank you for having us. Bye, Dilbert. Dilbert. All right. Well, the